Psalms chapter 73, verse 6. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. Brakatayahawa, brakatayahawa shai. Brakatayahawa, brakatayahawa shai. Brakatayahawa, brakatayahawa shai. Call halal la yahawa bashim yahawa shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret bless yahawa, bless yahawa shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Here we go again. We expect a thorough and expedient investigation. Lee Merritt speaking for the family of this woman, a Tatiana Jefferson. Her family says she was watching her nephew when she was shot and killed by a Fort Worth police officer. It's another one of those situations where the people that are supposed to protect us are actually not here to protect us. Body cam video shows that officer looking around outside the house. He doesn't speak to anyone until this moment. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. You didn't hear the officer shout gun, gun, gun. You didn't hear the officer say that it he didn't have time to perceive a threat. That's murder. Police say a gun was later found in the house, but does not say how it was used, if it was at all. Jefferson's family has questions. It's like from the moment we got the call, it's been more... <laughs> and more inconceivable and more confusing. And there has nothing been done in order to take away that confusion. The neighbor who called police says he used a non-emergency number, not 911. That's because he didn't think there was an emergency. He was just concerned for his neighbor's safety. I'm shaken, I'm mad, I'm upset, and I feel it's partly my fault. If I had never dialed the police department, she still be alive. But um, his anger is echoed by others in the community. It's no kumbaya for this one. It's no forgiveness for this one. It's no judge hugging an officer on this one. They've pledged to fight for Jefferson's family. You know, you want to see justice, but justice don't bring my sister back. You know? The Preston Ridge Trail is a popular hike and bike path along meandering way. Alright, so there you go. You seen it, man. You know, Lord is not playing, man. The scriptures say who shall rouse him up. You know, these things are gonna keep happening because you Israelites are, are wicked, man. You know? Now you see, the first time, you know, someone, the young guy, got killed in his house by a female, an Edomite cop. You know, and now this time, this woman, Jake, okay, got killed in her house. I think she was watching her nephew and got killed by a cop inside a house. The Lord is, you know, he's he, he going to get you men and he's going to also get you women. You women are not exempt. You women, you know, are, are, are very prideful, you know, arrogant. You know, you believe you look at a man as if, you you know, you would take him out, you know. If things don't go your way, you know, you make men, you know, you walk around, as the apostles say, you walk around with this entitlement, man. Like, like everyone is underneath you. Well, the Lord is going to check that ass, man. All right. Now, he done put this woman, you know, to death by the hands of Esau, by this uh, senseless murder, because that was murder, man. You know, the woman in the video, the sister, she said, you know, how you supposed to, you know, uh, look at these cops as protection these cops were never made they were never uh that's not the duty of a cop is to protect you i don't know where you get that from a duty of the cop is to look for infractions his duty is to protect his partner all right his gang not you all right they dare to look for infractions man when you call a cop to come to a crib to examine and see what's going on. They're going to investigate. And uh, another thing too. When that cop. You know. When these Edomites were called. To this to this house. 
by Jake's, you know, calling the damn police snitching, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but, um, and he got that woman killed. Here it is. That Edomite knew he was going to kill something before he even got there, man. Cause that's how Esau rolled. All right. He already know that he was going to kill something before he got to that house. He come into probably a, a neighborhood where Jake is at. It's nighttime. He, he, that's all he needed was the call to get there. And he was going to kill something, man. You know, and you Edomites, you're not getting the pass. You're not getting out of this. For your violence against your brother Jacob, where well, was your brother? Okay, as the scriptures say, Malachi, the first chapter. All right, but your violence against Jacob, hey, shame is going to cover you. All right, you didn't get away with uh, slavery. You didn't get away with theft, you know, murder, rape, robbery. Okay, the Lord is about to do with this place in which you call America. There is no healing. There is no... uh uh uh. Uh, what you call it, uh, 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 as what Trump say, uh, rebuilding this place, you know, better in this place. There's no better in this place has, uh, no morals, no values, no principles. It's no longer has any right spirit. Okay. Mentally, everyone is sick. Everyone has a, uh, uh, what they call it, a mental illness, you know, half of them. Are, are 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 weirdos in their sexual preference you know this place is finished this is sodom and uh egypt this is babylon the great and there's uh, uh something that the scriptures call jacob's trouble which is a prophecy of of the lord basically destroying two-thirds of his people man so we're coming into these times these dark and sinister times of evilness man pure evil from esau all right. And this ain't nothing, man, compared to what's coming, man. You know, so, hey, man, you know, I'm going to just uh, you can read the article. You can look it up. I just saw this a um, few hours ago. I'll say, yeah, about a few hours ago. And, um, you know, and I know that this week, they, Jake going to be talking about this one because this is another killing. Now it's a female that got killed in her house. And I believe this happened in Texas once again. OK, you know, in her house and got killed cold blood by Edomite cop, you know, <laughs> that's why the scriptures say who shall rouse him up. All right. Now, this is Psalm 73 and six. It says, therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. You should know your enemy. You should know who your enemies are. You should know the nature of your enemy. All right. Esau, this is clearly talking about these Edomites. Therefore, pride compasses, compasses them about as a chain. Why pride? Why did this devil wear his pride? Why did he walk with his nose up to the sky like nothing, like his shit don't stink? You know, he has privilege over you. Okay. He gets away with murder. Well, it seems as though he gets away with murder. He gets away with stealing. Everything he does wrong, wrongfully, he gets away with it. So that what gives a man pride. And now he has pride as if he's not going to be touched by the Lord. All right. He, the scriptures say he wants to sit in the seat of the most high. This devil is a proud man. And these police officers are proud men. Proud because they know they have a license to kill. And they're going to get off. They're going to get off. All right. But that don't mean you're going to get away from the Lord's judgment. All right. The Lord is using you Edomites to 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 whoop ass upon the Israelites. And that I'm going to say the wicked Israelites, because the Lord is just using you as that weapon. Esau is the son of perdition. All right. Now, when you read the story of Jacob and Esau, you should know the characteristics of Esau to uh, have the fatness of the earth and to live by the sword. So he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a killing agent, man. That's all he knows. Violence, man. Senseless murders, man. No mercy. Okay. No compassion. So why are you Jake's showing these Edomites compassion when they have no compassion for you? Look at the system that you're in. Look at the ghettos that you live in. <laughs> they purposely do these things to keep you people sleep and away from your power and your God.
which is Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai. Your true inheritance, man. Your real identity according to the Bible. You know? This is, uh, it says, therefore pride compasses them about as a chain. Violence covers them as a garment. This man is bloody, man. Esau is full of blood. Full of it, man. You know, and what keeps you Jake blinded, blind is that Christianity, man. That black Baptist, that Pentecost, that Jehovah's wickedness. That Christianity doctrine, that believing in you can love your oppressor. You have to love and love and love. You people are freaking foolish, man, and stupid. That's why the scriptures say my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because you don't know your enemy. All right? For that woman or sister to think that uh, these cops are here to protect you. What? They're not here to protect you. They're here to do their job. And that's to protect the law. That's to see where you, you know, infractions where you go off of the law and then they refer, they retain you by, they judge you by the, by Esau's law, by man laws. They don't judge you by the laws of the Bible. They're not there to be your friend and be on your side. <laughs> That's when you Jake's going to get it. You're not. All right. Because the scriptures say they must know it after death by pain. In order for you to understand all of this, you're going to have to die on this side, man. The Lord have two thirds of his people sleep. And the Lord is not biased. He's whipping women. He's killing women and he's killing men and children. All right. It says, uh, let me let me jump down to a few others um, that I've seen. Scopio, you know, before the, the lesson started. And I said, basically what I did was blue letter the word violence. And you see 56 verses. So I'm a Lord willing. This lesson to be edifying. I hope I could, uh, you know, grab the important ones. Let's see. Uh, matter of fact. This is, uh, this is Psalms chapter 58 and 2. It says, yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Esau is working wickedness by the hour, by the minute. Let me say by the second. He's working wickedness, always finding ways to destroy you, to keep you in captivity, to keep you on the bottom. OK, he's not fair. He's creating laws. And right now, as the spirit, you know, we was talking about this today in camp, you know, the hey, all of these laws that's going to be passed is basically going into what they call the draconian laws, man. All right. Real dreadful, harsh laws, man, with, with harsh penalties. So that so we we we're, we're approaching some troubled troubled times. Look what happened in the beginning of this year. There were government shutdown. People uh was getting paid. That was to bring in in 2019. Can you imagine what 2019 is going to bring in? We're getting closer and closer toward their mark of what they call the new world order, man. You people going to be taking that chip. The mark of the beast. All right, but let me stay on topic, even though that's all prophecy. But you Edomites, you're not going unpunished. It says Psalms 58 and 2. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. So Esau is weighing his violence with his hands around the world, man. And just because you're sending drone strikes, that's that. Hey, that's your call. So that blood is on you. All right. That blood is on you, 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 uh, uh, you, you, you picking with these Ishmaelites, these Hamites, all, all these other different nations, these Moabites, all these different other nations. Esau is 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 having his violence, his ways, and he pushing his policies and his philosophies upon them, man. You know. So anyway, uh, let's see. Let me jump down. This is Proverbs 10 and 11. The mouth of a righteous man is well of life, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. Exactly. All right. Let me uh, get down some. I know 
Obadiah was in here. This is Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10. It says, For thou violence against thy brother, Jacob shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right, so from the violence that you have committed against Jacob, shame is going to cover you, man. Okay? It says, and thou shalt be cut off forever. Because once you Edomites lose this place and lose your kingdom, you're going into slavery. You reap what you sow, man. He that killeth by the sword, he that killed with the sword must be killed with the sword, man. All right? He that lead him to captivity shall go into captivity. All right? It says, for thou violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And you ultimately going to be rounded up and cast off the face of the earth, burnt off the face of the earth, I should say. All right? Um, this is Micah 6 and 12. For the rich man, therefore, are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. And their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. That's Esau. Let's see. All right, I ain't gonna make this lesson too long. I'm gonna read this last scripture and call it a, call it a day. This is Revelations 18 and 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea. Saying, thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. All right. And that's ultimately the end deal of this place in which you call North America, man. Because America is spiritually called Sodom in Egypt. And it's also mystery Babylon the Great. Okay. The mother of harlots. So, you know, with that. You know, I'm going to just end it. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.